All right. I haven't done one of these for a little bit, so I thought I'd um, mix it up. Since, uh, <laughs> since I don't, I don't think we've got any more leaks. Right? I don't, I don't think we've got any more leaks coming up. Right. Anyway, so this is uh, this is another Mugen Mortal Kombat uh, rendition, Mortal Kombat Revitalized Project Deluxe. Post a link in the description for you guys to be able to go and check out at your leisure. Um, and this is it. So it's um, it's actually done in a very similar vein in terms of music uh, from MK4. That's why I don't have the sound up because no doubt I'll get like copyright struck. But um, it's it's very much a a trilogy layout. Right. Um, so similar similar character selection. And I just recently reviewed the the PC uh, good old games version of of the character select screen for um, for MK trilogy. Right. Um, and so it's it's that style, but it's done like so. We've got a lot of Armageddon characters in here. In here. Plus. We've actually got some new additions that have been added in from Armageddon, as well as characters which you know we're never going to see this in in a in a retail MK game. You know that, right? Uh, characters that you know have become Mugen Mortal Kombat staples uh, over the years, which is pretty cool. So um, it's it's awesome to see. So and it feels. This was actually a new character, Destiny. That was a new one that was added a while ago, but that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and let's see if there's any are there any secret characters? No, not that I can see. I'm just let me just try something. Because sometimes if you double press the start button, right, uh, on a character pane, depending on on what they've done with their game, you can actually swap between different versions. But it doesn't look like you can. This looks like it is all just the base roster, like, you know, this is it, and that's all we get. So let's just jump in, we'll try Rook versus, uh, go Smoke. And we've got 170 stages as well. So there's plenty to go around, right? And the reason why I re review Mugen games on this channel is because if you come to this channel for Mortal, like for fighting games or Mortal Kombat or whatever, there's actually a lot of fighting games out there that you have full access to that while are not retail, are amazing in their own right. Okay, so some of them are, you know what I mean? Some of them are a bit funny, but uh, other ones like this one seems to be a pretty solid addition. So looking, uh, I always judge the UI. UI, is, yeah, it's not super crisp. Um, it's definitely feeling very old school, slight pixelation anyway. Uh, but I don't mind the design though. The design is actually really nice. Right, it's just not like not super HD. Uh, you got an aggressor bar that fills up at the bottom, which is nice actually. So rather than just the words that we just had in trilogy just slowly fill up, we actually got a bar that indicates, and it actually goes back down if you're not fighting. So if you start being aggressive and then you stop, it actually starts to deplete, which is great. I like that. And did he turn him into a starfish? What was that, man? Right. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Havoc versus where's Reiko? Uh, there he is. Two characters we all hope absolutely make it into the new Mortal Kombat game. Right. Oh, this is the um, this is like the smelting plant, or whatever they called it from uh, Deception. I think it was his first. First appearance was in Deception, so <laughs> it just did his head snap. <laughs> Havoc just did his head snap. Yeah, so um, and of course then you got also your run slash combo meter as well below the health bar. Otherwise, it's great. It's got a massive selection of characters and massive selection of stages. So you're definitely not going to be without someone that you can muck around with. Um. And yeah, that's that's why like I want you guys like to see this stuff because 
you know, if you're bored of, say, mainstream fighting games or, you know, you, they run their course or you need something new to play, there are literal endless amount of Mugen projects out there to satisfy your needs. It's amazing. Like, and, and it's all free. You don't pay. Um, massive props to any developer that creates these games because it takes a lot of time and effort. And, um, and that's why there's a lot of credits when you read like the readme for these games, there's a lot of credits because um, they, like these projects have started off and then, you know, they'll take that project and add to it. So then they get previous credit to the first creator and then someone else will come along and take that. So then they give previous credit to the first and second creators and so on and so on and so on. So it's pretty cool to see that there is that level of respect, uh, at least from what I've seen uh, in the, uh, the Mugen community. So, and if you're a Street Fighter fan, uh, like Neo Geo, King of Fighters fan, um, Mortal Kombat fan naturally, even some Killer Instinct games, um, there'll be a fighting game out there. And there's some pretty obscure ones too. So, but this is good. The sprite size isn't too massive. It just fits nicely. Feeling like they're playing a nice big gestation. <laughs> that's so cool. That's the cool Lao stance. Where it really comes down and like that's that's the um that's the MK3 cool Lao stance. So Alright, how no 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 how we'll go um we'll go duos. We'll go Scorpies and, and Scarlet. Versus, I oh, have got my turret. We'll go Destiny and Quan Chi. There we go. Side by sides. Oh, this stage, excellent. This is from um, MK4. I was about to say Mythologies, but it showed up in there as well. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Now, the good and bad here. The good thing is that each character has their own health bar in duo. The bad thing is, is that they have for whatever strange reason decided to include the run meter overlaying the second character's health bar a little bit like i i'd like to see like it sort of on top you know same position as the one below but on top perhaps um and that'd be kind of good because then it's not you know it just it, i think it'll look a little bit better but i mean yeah i'm just reviewing this like i'm just a lot of the time I'm just looking for stuff that like it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter right you know I love this stuff anyway I don't need some you know perfect game um, but I tell you what like some of the reactions of MK1 like the new MK coming out and um, and and talk of um, who's that Atari yeah, yeah, yeah why not um, Go uh, zombie Liu Kang. Uh, who, who are we gonna get? Um, oh, on your, on on it, on your, on I think, maybe. Um, and this dude. Um, because of the cameo system they're introducing, a lot of people are very worried, myself included, about what characters are gonna be playable and ones that are just gonna like jump in every now and then. Mugen Mortal Kombat games may end up fighting and winning that problem right while while the games are 2d right I have absolutely no doubt that someone out there will create then another bigger version uh, a more complete version and they'll call it Mortal Kombat 1 or they might call it Mortal Kombat Genesis or something like that um, and it will be essentially like and you can get it now anyway you can get it now but what i mean is like new characters they bring in right um it'll be that they'll have like every character even from the new game all in there completely free and you'll be able to play right and that's again why i show this to you guys because like sometimes it's just it can be a little bit um disappointing you know when you get all these hopes about like what you want um we'll go we'll go the two chameleons um you know you you want to have like your favorite fighters show up and then they don't um so mugen there we go there's a deadly alliance background uh oh that's cool oh she's oh all her attacks on fire 
they are. They're all glowing like red, except for the fan. They went gold. Oh, I like that effect for the for the teleport. The grant, like not teleport, like you know what I mean, like the portal, right? Sweet. So yeah, so this will be um, so yeah, Mugen Mugen Mortal Kombat uh, versions get to scratch the itch that sometimes retail can't scratch. You know, so that way you know you guys subscribe, and I think each and every one of you can sort of broaden your minds and enjoy some content that uh, you may not have even known existed. Now I do have some playlists, uh, obviously as, as the channel just keeps growing and, and I keep doing more content. Um, that I've already got playlists in place. So if you're say after Mugen Mortal Kombat games, I've got a playlist for that, Street Fighter ones. Um, I've, got, I've started a playlist for like fighting games on the PS2, fighting games on PS1, fighting games on the Master System and Mega Drive, and you know, like, so that way, you're gonna, like, I want those all to be filled up uh, for you guys to be able to enjoy. So, but anyway, I'll leave it there. Uh, let me know what you think of Mortal Kombat Revitalized Project Deluxe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.